new video game, Pacific Drive, its name, oh, P-A-C-I-F, 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 I-C-D-R-I-V-E-O. That's right, everybody, it's a stream on youtube.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. I'm Johnny Chiodini, and today we're playing Pacific Driver. Pacific Drive. It's a video game about a car. Um, I've never played this before. A friend of mine worked on it, which has made me very excited to play it. But um, apart from knowing that my friend Paul Dean worked on this, I know naff all about Pacific Drive. I know that it it is survive game. You have car. Car is friend for survive. Car also little bit finicky and weird. And as Nice Switch says, cargo new. That's all I know. So let's let's crack on in, shall we? Um, explore Pacific Drive, lush forests, hiking trails, scenic drives. This is the Olympic Peninsula. This is our car. Nevermore says everyone is streaming today. Ah, I can't decide what to what to watch. Watch me. You're already doing it. Uh, has Johnny had a haircut? No, Wizzy McWizzyton. I have tied my hair back. Because I'll be perfectly honest with you, it needs a wash. So I thought, I'll tie it back. It doesn't look good, but I've just, I've tied it back. So that's what we're up to today. Um, there we go. I might let it down again later, because I'll be honest with you, I don't like how it looks tied back. But like I said, it needs a wash. A wash. Manish Anand has done a super sticker. It's of a Shiba Inu going like... Hey! As if to say, you're number one, and I'm a dog. Which is very nice of you. Thank you, Manish. Um, Madison Kirkpatrick has done a super chat saying, Hi, Johnny, my new job is amazing. So laid back, and everyone has been so nice, and I really think I'm going to love it here. Much better than my extremely toxic previous job. That is delicious news. Num, num, num. Let's have seconds. Let's read it again. Hi, Johnny, my new job is amazing. So laid back, and everyone has been so nice, and I really think I'm going to love it here. That is... That's just fantastic news. I'm so happy for you, Madison, especially since your previous job was toxic. Um, that is extremely good. Uh, Patrick Phelan has done a super chat saying, I have to go to bed, basically now, but wanted to say money high beforehand. <laughs> money high. Sounds like Lilu Dallas. Money high. Anyway, right. Let's play Pacific Drive, shall we? Um, Cat M says, nice calming survival game with Johnny. Good vibes on a stressful day. I hope this is chill, rather than mega stressful. I'm not good at survival games, and a lot of them I don't enjoy. Like, you know, when people are like, do you want to play Sons of the Forest? I'm like, no. I don't, like, I tried to play Ark with friends, some friends. It was like, I get gathering things to build a hut, right? But, like, my guy starts grumbling and poops himself if I don't eat enough berries, and that's really... That's, it's just not my vibe. So I'm hoping this isn't like that hardcore in terms of survival. We'll see. Um, explore, self-guided tour. Horain Forest, Hurricane Ridge, Calalock, and Ruby Beach, Lake Crescent, Pacific Drive. Um, blimey, Tipsy Puzzlers done a massive old super chat. Their first ever super chat, and they've made it a big one. Thank you, that is extremely generous of you. Tipsy Puzzle says, poking up from the VOD Void. <laughs> VOD Void. <laughs> Never heard it called that before, I like that. Um, poking up from the Vod Void to thank you for your delightful streams of community, which saw me through the fight with my ex-landlord for a pet. After a year and a move, I finally have a dog to cuddle for the Skelly Pal Nap Club, my best to Watson. Yes, Tipsy Puzzle. We moved house specifically so we could get Watson, and it was the best decision. I'm so happy for you. Uh, fuck landlords. Sod them. Sod them. Sod them. It's not a job. Get a real job, you parasites. Anyway. Um, let's... Oh, we can get one free soda pop at any Big Dan's. Let's go find Big Dan's. New game. Would you like to customise your settings before you start? You can adjust these at any time during gameplay. Let's just start. I've already checked subtitles on, which is good. <gasps> nice, which says you can put glow-in-the-dark stars on your car, which makes it Game of the Year material, I think. Uh, yes, I would agree with you there. Travelling. Travelling. A very niche reference. I hope somebody out there played NBA All-Stars on the Super Nintendo. I mean, I did. 
Echo La VLS has done a super chat. Oh, wait, hang on. Sorry. I'll get right back to you, Echo. In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumours of its utopian creation spread, so did stories about overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances, and unnatural encounters. In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. Have we wandered into a Jeff Vandermeer novel? What happened inside was never disclosed. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Bright Falls. I'm Alan Wake, a writer. Ecla Violette has done a super chat, saying, Hey Johnny and Skelly Pals, had my first week at my new job at the Cat Cafe and it was exactly as awesome as it sounds, also I adore this game. I am very happy for you Echo, that is great news. The Olympic Peninsula, it's 1998. And this song slaps south of the barrier wall. Lights off. Ooh, lights on. Lights off. Gas. Brake reverse. Okay. Look at our little car! It's a friend! Dome light on! Oh, we're rolling backwards, that's bad. Lisa Hunt has done a super chat saying, No money, but love this game and also this community. Thank you very much, Lisa, that is very, very kind of you. Um, and yes, this community, I like it. This game, so far, I'm enjoy. So that's nice. Oh, let's steer around whatever that is. This, re like, the exclusion zone, the exclusion zone growing, it reminds me a little bit of Annihilation. So I wonder if I'm going to get DA DCM um, DMCA Mie Mie. Like <laughs> Nikosa says, don't forget to turn down the music to concentrate on your parking. Yes, I had to do that in uh, Star Trucker. Whoopsie daisy. The Narrow Boat Dungeon Master. What a good username. Working from home today, EDS and god awful cough. Everyone seems to be kicking my butt. Um, Johnny Stream is the bright spot of the day, watching with Doggy for vibes. Um, I'm sorry to hear about the EDS and the god awful cough. That does not sound like fun. There's a streamer mode. Eh, that's fine. Otter Tone, I see you've retracted your message because you accidentally tagged me as Eurogamer. The music's a little loud. Okay, I'm going to turn the game down. I thought it might be. Ah, uh, no, this isn't Eurogamer. I was there once. Because you know what? Fuck it. I don't need... I, I, I mean, I kind of do need ad revenue, but I don't need it bad enough. Snow Ninja Sandcat said, Drive faster, Johnny. The bleeding is getting worse. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm bleeding? Am I bleeding? Johnny, do a donut. I... Also, Tone says, I swear it was just a slip. I'm sorry, Johnny. Don't be silly. I'm not bothered at all. I cherished my time working at Eurogamer. Am I bleeding? Or is that a joke? No, so it says donut, donut, donut. Ah! I shouldn't really be driving on the left, but fuck it, I am. I can't drive in real life, by the way. I never bothered learning. Well, I was, um... I was learning when I was at school. But then one of my friends passed his test, and three weeks later, uh got into a wreck and died. So that sort of put me off learning, if I'm perfectly honest with you. Um, and uh, that lack of practical time spent behind the wheel is kind of coming through, I feel, in the way I'm driving. Honk the horn? How do I honk the horn? Craig M says, does YouTube do an automatic DMCA? I know in some instances they just share the revenue with the artist. It depends on the video, I think. Echo La Violette says, I considered getting my license, but uh, then I moved to London and there is no point trying to drive in London. That was the other thing. I was also, H is not at the horn, unfortunately. I'm trying to find it. Um, uh, let's find out what it is. Um, yeah, I, I also, at the time I was learning, I was like, well, I'm only going to apply to London universities and I want to move to London because it's where I was born. 
and what's the point? So I never learned. To be honest, the only reason I would like to learn is so I can drive the dog to interesting places. Controls. Invert. Look, no. Haptic feed. Haptic feedback. Bindings. Player. Kick. Hell yeah. Warp car. What? Bindings. Car. Honk horn. X. <laughs> now we're playing the game. NGO, 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 and Bingo was his name. Oh, that's too fast, Johnny. Ah, walk car is in case the car gets stuck. Thank you, Otto. You are an informative person. I like it. Thank you for your help. Should we be going this fast? I'm still kind of scared because someone said that we were bleeding. It's just, I mean, it looks like there's tire tracks. Cindy the Fallen says, otters are wise. Otters are wise. They they know the important things in life. It's good to have a, a favorite pebble to hand. It's pleasant to eat off your tummy. Floating around is nice. Marking your territory with liquid poops is an effective way to let people know you've, you've been somewhere. Otters, they've got it down. Only almost says, I, I think they were joking, you're not bleeding, you're good. Okay. This, why the light bulbs go bang? Oh, this, oh shit, this is the exclusion zone. Who did that? Oh no. Oh. Oh goodness. Oh. The oh, fucking hell! <laughs> no, 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 no. Ah. That genuinely scared me. But she may have been able to hear. Anonymous is getting a bit red foley all of a sudden. Ah oh, man. That game just disappeared, didn't it? I enjoyed it. But it shouldn't have but shouldn't have it shouldn't have been a multiplayer. The Olympic exclusion zone gets to safety. I don't want to be in the Olympic exclusion zone. Sprint? I don't want to sprint either. I don't enjoy running. The, ex the exclusion zone is what happens when you get called into the headmaster's office and get expelled from school. <laughs> Freya has done a super chat saying, hee hee hee. Davy Jones has done... Ah, Davy Jones has done the, the sticker of the hippo that's in, for some reason in camo fatigues and keeps going like this as in to say move in and then keeps going like this which just looks like it's wanking off its own arm I'll be perfectly honest but it's a fun sticker I don't get to ex I don't get to describe this one very often tactical hippo says Meffy to go yeah it's like kneeling down it's got some camo and it's like which you know what is it dance move I might try next time I'm out on a dance floor See if anyone wants to buy me a drink because of my cool moves. Find transportation. We were just in transportation. Crouch. Peter Krush. Jump. Peter, jump. <laughs> oh no, I'm in one of those moods. <laughs> Kick, Peter, kick. <laughs> Hello? Someone out there? Hello? Uh, what a swan. Uh, never mind. Francis! 
Since the radar is acting up again, you were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. You look like a car. Put the wheel back on. Install summer tire. Okay. Get in. Peter, get in. <laughs> Peter, crush. What is that noise that keeps going blip? Turn the key. signal in the outer zone. It looks like you're somewhere around sector E. Hey Francis, come here! Yes, it's urgent. Leave that interferometer alone for a second. Something is out there. I'm out here. Uh, apparently that blip noise is objectives. Thank you. Hey, we got a live one. Hey, do you copy? Hello? Hello? Is this thing working? How do I... They, they, they don't have a transmitter. We won't hear a thing back. Huh. But if they're stranded, could they, I mean, they're from outside? They're a preacher? And they're getting my pronouns hey, right. Hey, how did you get through the barrier wall? No one's gotten into the zone in ages and lived to tell about it. And if we don't get them to safety, this one won't either. That's a good point. Oh. Hey, hey you're in serious danger. The instability's closing in, and it's going to scramble you quicker than beef in a blender. Your closest shelter is a few miles east. Get there however you can and be quick about it. Okay. Let's go east. We're going south. That's not good. Let's turn east. Yay! Okay, friends. <laughs> nice which says this guy's voice is extremely I'm walking here energy. Hey, Gabagool in a blender! <laughs> Oh, I've missed this. Oh, sorry about it, plants. That's north. We, we want east, really. Okay, this is east. That's fine. Hey, oh! Beef in a blender! So, Gabagool is also known as Capicola. So, Capicola, Capicol. Capicol. That's Capicol. Cap Capicol. Capicol. Ba Gabagool. Fucking, why does my car, why is my car going back? Put in park. Time to safe. Check your trunk for a fuel can. Take fuel can. Okay. Siphon fuel from the broken down car. Siphon. Professor Dookie A. Shooter has done a super chat saying, caught the start, but gotta go for a run. I'm from Denver. Have fun, pals. Take care, Professor Dookie A. Shooter. I hope you enjoy the uh, run. Don't forget to cool down afterwards. Oh, hey, whoa. Let's go uh, fill, up, fill up the car over here. Okay. Nice, which says, lurking while I wash hair dye off. Let me know if Tony Soprano shows up to fix your car. I'll let you know. I'll let you know if we find Paulie as well in the, in the snow. Um, good luck washing off the hair dye. I hope it comes out lully. Uh-oh. Uh... -oh. uh Put it in drive. Fucking go. That's the instability they've, uh, they have they've all been talking about then. Whoa, 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 hey, hold the whoa, whoa, hey. There it is again, that flip on the spectrometer. I've seen that wave for before, but where? No kidding. What could it be? A remnant? That can't be. There hasn't been one in decades. Look at that spectral fingerprint and tell me that doesn't match the remnants exactly. I don't know. What we should be looking at is how fast this preacher seems to be moving. Huh. You know, if I didn't know better, I'd say they're going about the speed of a... No way. No way to not tell me. They found a remnant and it's a car this time? Holy Christ! No one's had working wheels in here for ages. Boy, I'd kill to know how a combustion engine's still chugging away out there. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, the preacher needs uh, to get to safety. Uh. 
Okay. My heart of hearts, I already know that bad baby. This is great and mildly terrifying. I love it. Adam Schofield has done a super chat saying, "No, why stream on a win on Wednesday? I have to work." Lol. Um, well, the answer is that tomorrow I'm doing a, a games night at High Hill Tap Room in in Walthamstow in London. Uh, we're playing an unfeasibly large game of D and D. I'm splitting the whole brewery beer hall into oh Jesus Christ, into um, six tables. Each table is going to be a Dungeons and Dragons character, and I'm going to try and run a game of D and D with each character being run basically by a hive mind of people who are drinking cheap pints. So that's what I'm doing tomorrow. It's going to be a lot. Find a way into the building. Okay, thank you, car. You are nice. Find a way into the building, this seems. Adam Schofield says, that sounds like a good time, so I'll excuse it this time. Thank you. Yes, it's going to be chaotic, I think. I'm starting to get real PUBG flashbacks running up on this roof here. I feel like someone's about to murder me from two miles away. Well, this doesn't feel very I'm inside the building. Larsamanic has done a super chat saying, Hi from Germany. Was in London last week. Didn't get to Loading Bar or something, though. Uh, well, it's not going anywhere. You'll be able to go. Um, I, hope you, I hope you went to some cool places. Though. I hope you had a very nice time in London and that people weren't dicks. Oh, I could have just gone in the door. That's how I can get into the building. There was me immediately getting on the roof because I'm not smart. Um, but thank you very much for the super chat. Uh, I hope your journey back to Germany was pleasant. What have we got here? Turn the power on in Oppie's Auto Shop. Flip breaker. Done. Equip backpack. What the fuck? That doesn't look safe. Who is there? Oppie? You've got five seconds to get the hell out before I... Ow! Oh, my head. <laughs> Some emergency broadcast. Hello, uh, attention. This message is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. Send the preacher to your garage on um, official zone business. Now, we have it on very good authority that this person is in possession of a remnant, which has taken the form of a car, and, well, uh... Oh. Yeah, on the remnant thing. She's not gonna care. Um, uh, right, like I said, super officials own business. Protocol, uh, demands that you keep them alive until we What can happened get to my safe. wheel before? Now, if you do not comply, I will occupy this broadcast channel with a recitation of the entire collection of poems I've personally written. That's 10 years and 17 volumes and... Oh, I like that voice goes like a nail gun to the skull. So, <sighs> another breacher, huh? <sighs> How do you outsiders not understand that Arda didn't build that 300 meter wall out there for fun? Unless you're one of the unfortunates who got zapped through. I did. Wait. I just remember. I don't give a damn why or how you got here. You're trespassing, and I'd kindly like you to get the hell out of my zone. Okay. I don't understand anything that's going on, though. The barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything trying to leave. We have to find you a way out. So you might as well start by fixing up that car. Just don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. I don't have soft hands. Hands. <laughs> okay, so I've picked up some logbook, car ability, certain components and equipment that you have will install in your car, that you will install in your car, have abilities that need to be activated. You can assign controls to up to four of these using the small panel on the left side of your dashboard. Okay. In-car controls. You can steer, brake, reverse, shift between park and drive, and of course turn the ignition key, radio, headlights, switch, heat wipers, should all else fail, honk the horn. You can remap these controls. Okay. Car maintenance. Fuel can, battery jumper. This seems 
quite involved. Um, Dr. Moss has done a super chat saying, hope we're having fun. I led lab meeting yesterday with an actual peer-reviewed ecology paper about the effects of climate change on Australia's only endemic Pokemon. That was a great day. That sounds amazing. Well done. Um, uh, oh, my sweet summer tyre. How little you know about the rigours of the road ahead. Very good. What is conventionally known as a spare tyre is really a whole entire spare wheel. Still, who wants to break with convention and start quibbling over details? True. Right, blueprints. First aid kit. An improvised bandage. This will do until you can patch yourself up at the auto shop. Duct tape and fabric. Fine. Crude door. This weary, flimsy piece of oxidised metal will both open and close. It will also keep out the wind and the rain. It just barely meets every technical specification required to be a door. Pinned checklist. Okay. Scrap metal, plastic, duct tape and glass shards. That's what we need. Gather items from the abandoned car behind the garage for your checklist. Check the abandoned car's trunk. Okay. And that's that way. Oh, hello abandoned car. You're in a bad way, aren't you? Search the toolbox by the garage door for a pry bar. Okay. It's holding my hand quite nicely right now, which is good. Okay, toolbox. We like pry bar. We like duct tape. We need that. And we like mechanics kit. And we like organizational Tetris. This is our backpack. Got it. Equip the pry bar. Open inventory. Hands. Pry bar. Understood. Pry open the abandoned car's trunk. In the trunk we have... What are you? A road flare. Okay. Two road flares. More road flares. Glass shards. Uh, sure, why not? Sometimes it's nice to fill your backpack with shards of glass, you know? Okay, gather items. Search the dumpster by the garage door for crucial items. You're unable to craft. Okay. Steel door. Vehicle. Am I supposed to be prizing one of these off? Hang on. Blueprints. What do we need for the door? Crude door. Scrap. Oh, no. Scrap metal, plastic, duct tape, and glass shards. We've got the glass shards and some duct tape, but not all the duct tape. Friendly dumpster. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah. That did not seem friendly. Hello. Scrapper. What is that? What the fuck? Well, I have the road flare. That road flare's... Doesn't seem so friendly. Can we just scrap it? Scrap the abandoned car's wheels, panels and doors. Okay, got it. Well, we like that. We like that a lot. Scrap metal, scrap metal, glass shards. Some attire. This is very satisfying. Rubber, rubber, rubber. Scrap metal, scrap metal. Scrap metal, plastic, plastic duct tape. We need more, one more plastic. We've got everything. We can craft a crude door in the shop now. Cool. This game is odd and I like it. It's beguiling. And I'm going to move my head down here so that I'm covering up less of the hut. Workbench. Okay. Crude door. Craft. 
crude door. Well, hey, look at that. Trunk door. I would like to install it as the trunk door, but we've also... Yeah, come on. <laughs> Get the repair pussy from the locker. Okay. Ooh, a spare tire. Repair putty. <laughs> First aid kit, that's fantastic. And some chemicals. Hooray! Should we make um Equip repair putty? Okay. Uh, there it is. Use the repair putty to repair the car. Oh, crude panel, you're not very well. What the fuck? Okay. Steel panel, you're not very well. Let's heal you up. That's slightly disconcerting, I'll be perfectly honest with you. Well, we don't even have a panel here. Steel door. Crude door, you're okay. Crude panel, you're not very well. It's mildly upsetting. Structural parts, 93%. Let's... Okay, we've repaired the car. Scan the flat tire. Flat. Fix ceiling kit. Repair the flat by crafting and using a ceiling kit or replace the flat with the spare tire found in the locker. Well, I'd rather that actually we... How can we... How do we put it down? Oh, Jesus! We could throw it! Okay. You know what? That's fine. Let's... We'll, we'll come back to, to that. Uh, let's craft a ceiling kit. Shall we? Blueprints! Ceiling kit. We've got enough rubber, we just need more duct tape. Let's try and find some more duct tape. I like duct tape. Best of all the animals. Hmm, I don't know the code. Any more duct tape? I kind of would like to make another door as well, because we're still missing a door on our car. Nice, which says, have we done a donut yet? Not yet. But we're looking for duct tape, which is vaguely donut shaped, I suppose. Hmm, maybe we should just replace the flat with the spare tire found in the locker. Wrecked car. Fuck it, why not? It's just good to have bits, you know? Ooh, the fuel tank is not totally empty. So that means... I don't like that the fuel can is... Give me your fuel. Mm -mm -mm. Filling up the car, look. Giving it a nice little drink. Well, a nice big drink. Wow. And there was still a little bit left in the car. Oh. 
Okay. Toolbox. No, nope, we've already looked in there. Okay, fuck it. Let's just, um... Oh, don't drop the... F no, we need the fuel can. I know my inventory's full. Okay, alright. Let's just take the spare. There we go. Now we've got a crap spare tire. Wait, did we not do it? Did we not repair it? No. Drop this one. Spare tire. Ta da! <laughs> Scan the loose wheel. Oh. And equip the mechanics kit. Scan it. Scan the loose wheel. Is this not the loose wheel? Oh, wait. Aha! Equip the mechanics kit. Okay, got it. Manager Nan says, can I give you a hint, Johnny? Sure, why not? Why not, eh? Use a mechanics kit to fix the loose wheel. <laughs> ah. Zone preparation. Outfit the car. Okay. <laughs> nice, which says some of you never had to silently watch your siblings play video games and it shows. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and still the car there's still cardboard boxes in the trunk okay now we're talking installed uh, install craft mat Great, we've got a craft mat. Install arc oh. device. <clears throat> There's a little prototype of mine in the garage. The arc device. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit. Okay. Scrapping the junk car also gives duct tape. There is a bit of duct tape there. Okay, all right, cool. But no, I don't want to get in the car. I just wanted to open the door. Truck nuts. Here we go. There we go. I think that's fucking weird. This beauty won't just be your tour guide. It's your North Star and the only way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Oh, okay. Yes, that's my very own invention. Ooh. I'll tell you more about it if you live long enough to use Thank it. Thank you. Buttons? Green map. Pick up the car blue, the gear blueprint by the front garage door. Okay. Well, first, I'm gonna trash more of this car. Oh look, duct tape. There was duct tape this whole time. I probably shouldn't be trashing this tire because it seems absolutely fine. But oh well, we've done it now. Rubber, rubber, scrap metal. Anything left to trash? Fuel? Can we trash the fuel tank? No. Nah. This door. Okay. Blueprint gear. Jesus, fuck. Okay. Pick up the impact hammer blueprint by the front. I'd love to. I'd love an impact hammer. Are you kidding me? Refuel your car. Use the. F oh. There was a fuel pump here this whole time while I was siphoning fuel. Okay. 
All right. Never done this in real life. Never filled a car up before. I think it shows. Ding, ding. Ring her up. Thanks. Uh, gas keep. Align the car with the charging station in the parking bay. Done. Throw the switch to charge the battoir. Okay. Jesus, fuck. All set. Take a look at the projector against the wall. <laughs> this thing? This Ooh. is so within these borders. All matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. Oh. What that means is the shape, size, and makeup of just about everything constantly changes. Oh. A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye, and it does constantly. Oh. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The arc device in your car will then show you where you need to go. Okay. Wraith Finds has done a super chat, by the way, saying, Morning, Johnny and Skellies. We're in for a big storm here. It's supposed to snow for 28 hours straight starting this afternoon. Oh boy. Holy shit. That's a lot of hours. That's a lot of snow. Um, good luck, Wraith Finds. I hope it all comes out okay. I hope you're all right. Oofed. <laughs> nice one says, a pocket of stability is how I would describe my mental health. <laughs> well, at least it's a pocket of stability. You know, that's nice. Okay. All right. So we're going to go... This to here? Select destination. Off you go. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access road. Okay. Thank you, lady. Left out of the garage and follow the access road. Can we make one more door? I would like to make one more door, just in case. Crude door. No. We lack one duct tape and one, two plastic. We've kind of trashed all that we can of this car, right? Yes. Okay, well that's fine. We'll make another door later. Okay. okay. Look at this. Now we're talking. This is badass. I love my car. What now? Okay. Junction unknown. Damp forest. Junction conditions. Petrol stability. Residential. Travel. Oh, wait. You just go? You don't have to manually drive there? <laughs> Orthogonalist says, are we going to go to the sushi restaurant now? This is Dave the driver, right? Very good. Manual, your car is your shield. Perpetual stability, that's nice. Okay, newbie, I'll keep this simple. Don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. Ah. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spot tower. That's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. Okay, zapping sounds bad. You'll be doing plenty of driving in the zone, so it's accessible. Okay. The Arc device is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. 
Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator and it'll figure out the tools you need. Okay. That looks like a plasma generator. Plasma generator. Ah, looks like it's ripe for the picking. Okay. Can't get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the well, trick. Well, we know how to make an impact hammer with duct tape and fabric. No, an impact hammer. We know how to make one of those with gears and gas cylinders. Okay. We've got. Find those materials by any means necessary. No one's coming back ever again, so go on and take what you need. Okay. Transports, homes, outpost facilities, they've all been abandoned since the zone was decommissioned in 87. Most of those structures won't even be there the next time the instability scrambles the area. So loot to your heart's content. Just loot away. Okay. Hazmat cabinet. Hazmat cabinet. Hazmat cabinet. Toolbooks. What we got? Plastic. Look at you, out in the zone, all on your own. They grow so fast, don't they? Hey. And I'll be back at the helm. Been a long time, old gal. Hey, yo. Oh. Didn't think we'd uh, talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. What? Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. What did you finally talk Francis to death? Hello to you too, Oppy. And no, I'm still here. Okay. Mechanics kit. We like those. Hmm. Space is hard to have. <laughs> Don't mind me, everyone. I'm just playing a little bit of backpack Tetris. Okay. Don't forget your car's storage. I won't. Right. Assemble impact hammer. Using the craft mat in the trunk. Sure. But there are still things we need. Right. Cardboard boxes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, we're going to keep the scrapper on us. The mechanics kit we'll put here. Along with the repair putty. Start stacking these little bastards up. I guess I'll have to get the necessary back out of here when it's time, but oh well. Oops. Oop. Okay. Neko the Kitty says the storage Tetris feels a bit like Dredge. Lovely Dredge. Haven't played that in a while. Right. Let's have a look in this one. Craig Heath has done a super chat saying, Hi, late arriving, so back to the start for me. But visiting from the VOD dungeons. This is the one we just went in. Uh, as I'm on leave, of course I've immediately come down with a cold. Fingers crossed it settles by the weekend as I turn 30 on Sunday. Hey, happy birthday for Sunday, Craig. Hey, uh, uh, driver. Um, I bet you died. I'm talking to Craig video game. Um, I hope you have a bloody lovely time. I hope you really enjoy your 30s. Uh, I'm finding them to be a lot more fun than my 20s. So there we go. Wait, I just lost 1% health bumping my head with the closing trunk door? God damn it. Good, 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 um, good, um, good eye. Well spotted. Words are difficult. You're all about the remnants by now. Can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. I'll keep to the basics, I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. Oh. That is not nearly enough time to get... 55 seconds and counting. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. The remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They, they bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so, so get acquainted. Victim. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind, until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. Oh. No one has ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. Oh. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. Uh, 
but we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was... And now I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Anything critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. <laughs> And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. Dang. Um. Oh, I can make the required gears for the impact hammer at the thing. So I probably don't need to be this thorough in finding stuff. I don't want to go in there. It looks spooky. Okie dokie. Nova Wall says, don't forget to scrap the car. Oh, I'm going to scrap it, all right. Lucy says, I love how this is a great explanation of a natural gamer behavior. You're going to love the car as the basis of the game, and your character will become will become remnant. So many materials. Also, my scrapper is running low on something. Durability? Anything to siphon? Plenty to siphon. Where's me fuel tank? I love to siphon. Nah. Where'd it go? I'm quite tired, by the way. So if I'm... This isn't the car I was looking at. That fuel tank's empty. Was it up this way? What? Was it this way? I know, I know, Johnny's got no sense of direction in video games, blah, 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 but I'm very tired. What the fuck? Oh. Oh, no. I didn't realise it was Aoife's last Eurogamer stream. Schlatz, Slagerman, 218. Um, yeah, end of an era. Don't forget your filter while siphoning. What does that mean? Uh -huh. Okay, well... Trunk gunk. What are you gonna do with all that gunk? All that gunk inside your trunk. Craft mat. Okay, to make an impact hammer, we need a gas cylinder and two gears. But I think we can make the gears. We can make the gears with scrap metal, so. We've made two gears, so now all we need is a gas cylinder, which we'll have to find. That's okay. Many ha ha Sybil says, boo, Johnny. Why are you booing me? I don't understand. What did I say? Like I say, tired. Right. Gas cylinder. For the junk in the trunk song. Oh, yeah, fair enough, Many ha ha Sybil. You know I'm tired when I can't remember what I said five seconds ago. We've already been over here. It's very dark. What the fuck is all this anomaly? Pothole. What? Right. Danger? Ah! Oh, yes, that I was taking damage then. Okay. Nova Wolf says, can you scan the rooms? Let's find out, I guess. Supply containers. What's this up here? A light. That's a trash can. Fabric. We can use fabrics to make first aid kits. Didn't they get a gas cylinder already and store it Store it in the trunks, says Ronan of the Verse. I don't think so. Let me have a look. Try not to hit myself with it again. 
Uh, road flare. Scrapper. No, that's the backpack. Johnny. Trunk. 9 volt battery. No? I don't... I don't... I don't see it. My gas cylinder. Hello, wrecked car. Crude panel. Um... If anyone is, has anyone played this before that knows where uh, you know what might be in here? Does uh, anybody know uh, where I can find a gas uh, cylinder? Please. In the lab buildings. Which ones are the lab buildings? Are these the lab buildings? They look lab-esque. Found in the cages in the buildings. Okay. You already found one. Did I? Did I? I, d I just don't... I've got a couple of. Don't forget about that workbench. Yes, car. yes, yes. Use it to slap something together in a pinch. Chemicals. I'm sure you picked one up. Well, I don't. I don't know where it is. If I did, because gear. First aid kit, duct tape, plastic, rubber, fabric, glass shards, road flare, scrap metal, pry bar, scrapper, chemicals. Often need crowbar. In the prefab buildings, hazmat covered. Often need pro. Pro crowbar. Words are so fucking hard today. Is there a take all? Oh, look at that. Yes. Yes, there is. Well, I think it's in your hot bar. It isn't. That's pry bar, road flare, scrapper. I'm very fucking confused. What is happening? Okay. Hmm. Hmm. need to visit more than one stop. All right, yeah. What else we got? Yeah, you know what? Screw these nerds. I'm out of here. Scree! I'll be honest, I forgot that we could just carry on driving. Fucking what? Ah! Jesus Christ, what was that? Oh, I don't care for that. Didn't care for that at all. <laughs> nice, which says lots of donut space out here. You're not wrong. You're not. Stop it. Park. God, is this what driving a car is like? It seems rubbish. Getting out of my car. Right. I just want an impact hammer, that's all I want. Backpack. Cool. 
so dark. Great. Yes, we'll take all of that, please. Thanks for the, the fixing, putty. Do I have a light? Do I have a torch? Because the car's got... Ah -ha -ha -ha. Gas cylinder. Fantastic. Pressurized cartridges. Okay, we're in business. Or a backpack. You could use a flare, right? I could, Neko the Kitty. Yes, that's a very good point. Okay. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Now that you've all collectively... What the fuck? What the fuck is that, though? Run away! After you all collectively imagined that I had found a gas cylinder. Which I'm really not convinced I had found. Craft mat. Impact hammer. Craft that thing. Okay. How do I make a scrapper? Okay, we can just make a scrapper. Great, because the other one's gonna gonna die. Uh um I'm going to drive away from that thing and back to where we were, I think. Is that a waste of fuel? Fuck it, let's be brave. Please, no notice. Thank you, bye. Okay. And now I'm not seeing... Aha! There's a fucking... Oh, we got to smash... we got to get five plasma. Oh, this seems very dangerous. Run, run, run. Ow. Hooray. One. Just one. Okay. Oh, Emma Benson's in chat. Hello, Emma. How you doing? We're playing Pacific Drive. And uh, I'm not great at it, I'll be honest. Maybe we should go back. There were so many back there. You know what? Let's do it. Let's go back. There were loads of plasma generators back there. So even though that weird looking guy is still, I assume, hovering around. Yep, there it is. Please, no notice. Bye-bye. A little bit of off-roading to avoid whatever that is. Oh, shit. Oh, Christ. Oh, that thing's... Has that thing moved? Hold the phone. Hold on. I swear. I swear. That thing has moved. Anomaly. Tourist. Logbook. Tourist. Your car is your shield. It protects you, but only as long as it's in good condition. Okay. Okay. If your car's health ever drops into the red, you'll be at risk. Okay. You know what? Let's let's. Continue. Oh, I don't. I don't enjoy that. Okay, we're just gonna. Yeah, we're gonna leg it a bit. Okay, we're gonna do little a running away. Oh, I'm at fifty percent health. That's bad. It's bad for me. Okay. Into the form says on the dashboard, the car image shows condition. Okay. One of the doors has a yellow diamond on it. 
that indicates it has a fault and needs a specific fix. Okay. One of the doors is... I mean, the, the fault there is that it's missing. That's what's gone wrong there. I'm going to use a first aid kit. Okay, good. We're healing. We're healing. We're all better. Just in time for this. Okay, that didn't actually hurt us. That's great. We've just got to do three more plasma generators. Let's give this one a wide berth. Old Sparky! It's like the arc thrower in Helldivers. Or the friendly fire generator, if you prefer. Die! But no, come on! Go, go, do it! Thank you! Okay, we got hurt a bit there, but we got some copper wire, so that's nice. Where's your actual generator bit, please? There you are. Ah! Impact hammer! Okay, just one more. Let's get back in the car. What the fuck? Oh, we don't we don't love that for us, do we? So there's another one over there. Wait, what is that over there? Driving off road, probably good for the car. Driving off the road is probably good for the car. Fuck. I'm, I don't know what it is and I'm spooked by it. So we're just gonna keep going. Tom. Robin of the Verse says, well, that looks like a good thing to avoid. Meanwhile, Tom Warren says, go poke the freaky light wall. Showing the duality of, of chat. Okay. Kind of want to hit the tourist in the car. Has it moved? It's not. Okay, there's another one of those guys, but we're just going to hoon it straight fast. I hope no bad thing happens. We're good. I think. I don't know how obsessively I should be checking all of these cars. Gathering craft. You know what? You know what? Okay. Okay. Inventory full. Okay. Oh, I see. Inventory full. Okay. Marble Hover says, I need to go send Eve for my best wishes. You and her hold the spot a favourite streamer for me. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you. So sad to see her go. It's proper endo nearest stuff. You for leaving Eurogamer. Um, it's not for me to say what she's, uh, what she's up to or where she's going. But, um... I think it's exciting, so that's good at least. Right, the scrapper. We can use the scrapper again now without dropping the impact hammer. And my scrapper died. We're gonna make a new one. Okay. Scrapper, okay. See, this is the kind of, like, remaking tools because they die. I'm sometimes a bit like, hmm, about this in games. Neko the Kitty says, the lack of engaging the emergency brake when they stop does give me some anxiety. Well, in, in my defense, I hadn't noticed there was one. Stop. There it is. Wait, where is it? 
Where the fuck is it? That's that's Park and Drive. Where does the emergency brake live? Is this it? I don't know if it's in this car. Oh. Right. Okay. <laughs> Emma Benton says, honestly, who let Johnny drive? They don't even have, even have their license, if I remember correctly. You are correct! I do not! But I've got a scrapper, and I'm not afraid to use it, because what I'd like to do is make another door for my car. Steel sheet? That sounds great. Who said there's a mannequin but oh fuck, there's that thing again. <laughs> Kira Cox says, I think let is a strong word. No, you all let me. You all let me. By tuning in, you are like, I give Johnny my permission to drive. It's your fault that I'm doing this. No, I want to open the Oh, okay, there we go. So many car bits. Steel panel. Steel door. I love the scrapper. I think it's great. Can we make... Are we able to make an entire door within the car? I'd like to make a crude door. Crude door, yeah, look, look at that. Craft. Install. We've got, we've got all the doors. We've got all the doors we need. That's nice. We still need some more plasma. Let's keep going. Festus says Johnny will never dodge the rear door. I'm um, listen, I'm five for eight, I don't need to duck for things. And so I don't. So when I do hit my head on something, I'm it's genuinely a little bit offensive. It's like, uh, excuse me. Is that a generator? That looks like one. I'm genuinely five for eight as well. It's not uh, that's not me lying about my height. Oh no wait, we already got this one. Oh no, we need a we need a panel, don't we? What's it called? Crude panel. Let's make a crude panel. Um I know some people are like, oh yeah, I'm 5'11 when they're not or whatever. I'm 5'8. Mr. Tom for the Wind says you're only 5'8? I mean only is a strong word. Uh you've always seemed a bit taller than that to me. It's probably because I mean I wear like Dot Martins a lot, so generally uh, that would put me at like 5'9. Five, 5'9. Nine. Five, nine. But I am 5'8 eight, eight inches tall. And I have been since I was 16 years old. Because you know what? I was like, eh, that's tall enough. <laughs> Dice Dragon Joanna says, short monarch Johnny. <laughs> we stand a short monarch. It's a middling height, certainly. What, are th what is this? What the fuck? Okay, I can see... Up ahead, I can see plasma generators. Are these things dead or alive? They're mannequins. I'm just gonna... Oh, why are you glowing? Right, okay. Lesson learned. Lesson learned! No switch says I'm eight feet tall, so I picked Johnny up and popped them in my pocket when I met them. I felt so safe. It was really nice. Nice switch just like picked me up, pop, pop me in their pocket. We had a nice walk around Durham. It was fantastic. Big Dan's.
Oh, we're quite close. Uh, I'll tell you what, we're probably too close. No, no, come on. Leave my car alone. That was deeply unpleasant of you, actually. Arc Tower, or whatever you're called. Where's me impact hammer? Where's me impact hammer? Because I want to get plasma. I'm going to get electrocuted. Do, 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 do. Die! Oh shit, it's still going. Well, it looks like you're near one of the old gorilla radio stations. That ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts. I've loaded its approximate location to your map. Look for an antenna tower uh, up on a hill or something. Okay. Okay. Well, that's all. That's okay. Collect materials and say locate the radio station. All right. Okay. Oofed. Should we pull into Big Dan's and see if we can juice up the car? <laughs> juice up the car. We'll, we'll juice it up. Fuel the big dams. Shh. Wait, can you change the radio? Oh! I'm not fond of it. I'm to fuck off! Ourselves. Not really. Fuel barrel. Tobias Barlow, former Artem maintenance manager. Oh, and um, here with me is Dr. Francis Cook. I was a R and D scientist researching limb technology right here in the zone. Stop moving. We live right in the mid zone. Just, just a hop, skip, and a jump over another big old wall <gasps> from where you're at. Oh, and and that old fuck off. Over there? That's Dr. Fuck Ophelia off. Tuna, fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Of research and development herself. The mother of limb technology, the maven of electromagnetism. That's enough. Resident party pooper. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, I need something I can throw. Fuck off. Fuck off. What's happening now? Ah, Jesus Christ. Oh, it's gone. Ah! Mm. They won't attack, just don't touch them. Well, it feels like they're attacking. Why can I hear it right next to me? Oh. Oh, no. Where's my scrap metal gone? <laughs> I hated that. I hated that very much. Shit off. I'm just trying to go to Big Dan's. Hit it with the trunk door. <laughs> yeah, should have done. Fuel nozzle. Come on then, fuel pamp. Will it stretch? It will. It will not. It will not. It will not. I'll tell you what. Fucking door. Let's just do it this way, shall we? Goodness me. Excuse me, fuel pump. Well, I'll go fill this. I'll siphon it for the... From the... Fucking hell. I hated that so much. Oh, Alyssa says Aoife made me cry, so I've come here now to stop that nonsense. I feel very bad that I'm streaming at the same time as Aoife. I, I didn't realise that I would be. Okay. 
I can't siphon from the fuel nozzle. Can I siphon from my own tank? No. Well, my fuel can is basically full, so that's fine. Okay. Oh, Rob C says, yeah, very nearly had a little cry. Can't wait to find out what she's off doing next. Uh, yeah, me neither. I can't wait to see what she gets up to. Put can on ground, then fill, says Eternal Socks of Death. Okay. Put can on ground. Then, grab fuel nozzle, then, fill can! Thank you! <laughs> and so Pell says, is this channel where she'll be moving to? <laughs> Do you think I could afford Eva Wilson? Um, no, it's it's still just going to be me, friends. But uh, I'm flattered that... Uh, I mean, I'd love to work with Aoife again. Do not get me wrong for a single second. But no, I would not be able to uh, afford to pay myself and pay Aoife uh, what she deserves. So... Okay, so we gotta go down the road and into that little cul-de-sac type thing. Let's put the radio back on. I did turn it off so I could concentrate. I'll admit. Add a purchase E for Patreon tier. Make it a Patreon reward lol. I don't, I get, like I say, I'd love to work with Aoife again, someday, but uh, <clears throat> I don't, I think Aoife would probably look at this, this one person operation and be like, what the fuck have you been doing for the last three years? So, but she will tell you what she's up to next when she is good and ready. Is this Future Islands? Kiracot says, it, has it been three years? Yeah, it will be in uh, April the 1st is uh, the third anniversary. Oh, oh, Aoife's, is Aoife finished streaming now? Okay. Well, I feel less bad that I'm live then. Vinnie Thompson one says, yeah, a lot of Johnny mentions in the Ether stream. You two do a lot and we appreciate it. Also, also have a stream going at the same time. Oh, dear. Nikoso says, I think she'd be proud of what you've built here, Johnny. I hope so. We'll see. Caden Cannot says, three years has hit me like your car hit the mannequin. I know, right? Terrifying. Can we even get up? I don't think we can get the car all the way up to the radio station. So let's just back up a little bit. Driving's hard. Hey, Brooke Boyd, how you doing? Hollis Wood says, are we having an anniversary party? Maybe. Oh, we will be, yeah. Absolutely. Don't you worry about that. I might just park up here. And see if I can just walk up this hill. Hey, crude panel. What you doing? Give me all your things, buddy. Tom Warren says, it feels like the last five years or so have just been a blur. I know what you mean. Broadcast transmitter, that's something we could use. Oh, this is what we need. Yoink. <laughs> Time to get moving. The instability's ticking up by the second. Well, that's bad. But you can't get back the way you came. Oh. The instability makes all routes one way. Oh. And that's where my Octavice comes into play. It'll get you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. Okay. And to do that, you'll need anchors. Take a look at the Octavice display. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the Octavice to charge it. 
Oh, but don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. You'll be out of here soon, so there's no reason to learn more about limb technology than you need to know. She said I'm pretty. She said I've got a pretty little face. <laughs> because I have. Thank you. Well, one of those anchors is way back there. That's annoying. Let's go, I guess. I'm tempted just to try. Oh, f no, don't do it, Johnny. Ah, fuck it. I'm tempted, so I'm gonna. Okay, the car's been in better shape. But you've got to admit, that was fast. Now, according to this little thing, yeah, we kind of need to go back to that one, don't we? Oh, look, you can make waypoints. Or waypoint singular. All right, we'll go back. No switch says that was fun, but it wasn't a donut. I'll try and do a donut in a bit. Oh, oh, it's 27 minutes past five. We should probably take a little break because I forgot to bring any water in with me, and I am really thirsty. <laughs> so let's. We'll drive to. Oh shit! We'll drive to this uh, little point on the HUD, or as close as near enough. Damn it! We'll park up here, maybe. Yeah, let's park up here. I don't want to do too much off-roading. They said just after plummeting down a hillside. Um, right. I'm going to go get some water, and I'm going to go to the toilet. What are you going to do in the next five to seven minutes? Because that's how long the break's going to be. Um, are you hungry? Are you thirsty? Are you too warm? Are you too cold? When was the last time you stood up and had a good stretch? Because if there's anything you can do in the next five to seven minutes that will enhance your uh, enjoyment of the rest of this stream, for example, uh, as Orthogonalus says, get your water and a donut. Everyone try doing a donut, maybe. Um, go do it, and then we'll come back and we'll play more um, Pacific Drive, which I am very much enjoying. So, um, yeah, I'll see you in five to seven minutes. Uh, catch you then.
Hello, everyone. It's me, Johnny Cadini. Here we are. We're playing, we're playing Pacific Drive. Hi, welcome back. How was the break? Did everyone have a nice time? Did you do a donut? Is the car on or off? It's off. Let's go get things. Let's okay, drive, drive to an anchor site. Oh. Do I have to drive to it? E I'm gonna say yes. Wait, no, take the anchor. Those anchors may look like glowing balls of magic, but it's Limtech through and through. Don't be scared. They haven't exploded in anyone's face. I am a little bit scared. Mecca the Kitty says, we've been discussing favourite donuts, and now we need to know Johnny's favourite. Um, I don't eat donuts that often, but, um, well, I suppose I'll get out and pick that back up again, shall I? Um, I don't think they do them anymore, but, like, Krispy Kreme used to do, like, a cake donut that was, like, really just, like, dense and, like, nah, nah, nah. um, and that was pretty good. It was, like, a ring, but it was just, like... The texture of it was just really different, and I really, really used to like it. So cake donuts are good. Ooh! This game is so nice looking. <laughs> okay, wine. Uh, where's the next one? I also tried a mochi donut in uh, in America when I was there last, last year. Um... Um... Which was made with, like, glutinous rice flour and was absolutely delicious. Have I just driven in a complete circle? Yes. Apparently they're called old fashioned. Called old fashioned donuts at Duncan. Okay. Let's, I need to have a word with you actually, um, America. And I'm not like Basically, I hope I don't offend anyone, and I'm not going to have a go. But, like, when I was in Boston, uh, not last year, I guess it would have been the year before, when I was in Boston for PAX East to do an Ox Venture, I went to a Dunkin' Donuts because I needed a coffee. And then I got a, 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 a Dunkin' Donut, and it was fucking awful like they would they were dreadful they would like it was just dry and had it tasteless and frankly it was disgusting I, I I had one bite of it and was like this is awful Emma Benton says yes and lol is Dunkin Donuts okay they're bad okay all right I just wanted to make sure that that was normal I just don't... If they're that bad, why are they everywhere? Oh, it's cheap. Okay. All right. Jesus Christ. Oh! Oh, the thing seems unhappy with me. I'm going to feed this to my car. And then we're going to run. Shit! I didn't shut that door. <laughs> the thing... The arc device is charged and ready. You'll use it to open a gateway back to the garage. What the fuck was that about? Oh, my door's gone. That was terrifying. I was just I was just trying to talk shit about donuts, and now my door's gone. Fucking hell! I see I've sparked off a whole debate about Dunkin' Donuts. I'm sorry. <laughs> my door's gone. <laughs> Orthogonus says, I mean, that was almost a donut. That was horrible. Can we make a door? We can't make a door. 
I don't have enough plastic to make a door. Tell you what I will be doing is using a first aid kit. Quixotic Raven says, um, you might want to get driving. Oh, Jesus. Okay. What's... Okay. Okay. I'm not panicking. Except that I am a bit. Oh, fuck. <coughs> I hated that. The narrow boat, the narrow boat dungeon master has done a super chat saying, can you say hi to my dad, Alan? He's also down with the bad cough feeling rough. Alan, I'm very sorry that you're also down with the bad cough and that you're feeling rough. That is rubbish. I hope you are back to health very, very soon. Um, hello to you. My good fellow. Um, I hope this stream isn't making you feel any worse. Because I wouldn't say I'm great at this video game. Thank you for your patience. Alright. Okay. Listen, this one's going to be a smash and grab. Okay. I'm even going to leave the car running. In drive. Oh, you massive robotic dicks. What do we do now? Oh, God. This is very bad. The narrow punk dungeon master says, Dad says, thank you. You're very welcome. Activate emergency teleporter. Okay. Warping vehicle. Well, my quick getaway did not work. Return to the auto shop. How? Select getaway coordinates on the map. Put it in fucking park. Oh god, we're gonna die. It's in park! Johnny, you've got to run. Quite fast. I mistook it when it said that um, it makes all paths one-way trips. I thought it meant within this zone, you've got to go out. Okay, so I think we can all see the bonnet is not good. It's feeling pretty yellow. The left crude panel is red, which is also bad. We do have some magic healing paste, which is good because we're going to need it, but we also need to make an entirely new crude door. I'm driving fast because I'm panicking. Oh, oh! Ah, oh, it was nearly a donut. Was it nearly a donut? I've got an awful lot of warning lights on as well. Ah, oh, criminy. Ah, oh, biscuits. Okay, all right. Captain Coke Can says, what about your no claims bonus, Johnny? I think that's... We can kiss that goodbye, can't we? Oof. Ottertone says, Johnny, may I save you some time? Sure, why not? Tell me, Ottertone. No switch says, love the half donut, extremely thrilling. Thank you. You need to select one of the blinking yellow things on the map and activate it. Oh. Oh, yes, it did say something about uh, escape coordinates, didn't it? There we go. I'll say what? Ah! Into it. What? Yes, it looks like hot death, but it's so much better than getting scrambled by the instability. Okay. I'll put a waypoint on it. I don't see it. I don't see the pillar. I am 
I'm panicking. Just a little. This is why I don't drive. Ottotone says now drive to it fast. Okay, understood. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. I'm not inside that circle. Oh, it's just like vehicle protection compromised, but we did half a donut. Nice, which says, get your Ryan Gosling bomber jacket on, because it's time to drive, baby. Please wait for me, thing of me, cat, 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 uh, what's her name? Car Carrie? What's, what's, what's the lady's name in Drive? She's, she's a good actor, and I think she married the lead singer from Mumford and Sons, but we're not going to blame her for that. She's free to love whomever she likes. Shit! Donut, 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 donut! Almost a donut, kind of. Carrie Mulligan, there we go. Thank you, nice witch. Oh, my car is feeling not good about itself. I walked past her once in Abney Park Cemetery. And I thought, that's Carrie Mulligan. that you're the first human I've sent through that thing. I mean, there have been rodents, but it's not like it's completely untested. But anyway, it worked. So, you should have made it back with everything you collected out there. That's the beauty of the gateway. It's the only way to get back with all your marbles intact. Now, take those parts you found into the back room. I'll let you use my fabrication station. For now. That station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from roof racks to flare guns. Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy as pie, but it requires anchor juice to work its magic, so bring back as many as you can. And just because I haven't used that garage in decades doesn't mean you can trash the place. Mess up my equipment and I'll throw you to the anomaly so quick you'll get whiplash. We clear? We're clear. That was terrifying. <gasps> nice, which says, so here's the good news. You've done two half donuts, which technically means you have done one donut. Yes! It's like you and I both bought a donut, and then we decided that we'd have half of one donut and half of the other donut. So we've eaten a whole donut. Okay, we need to fix the car. Ow, I've hurt myself again with the fucking thing. Where's my fixy paste? Okay, I mean, right. I love you, car. I'm sorry about all of that. I'm sorry all of that happened. Oh. much more of this car. I want to build another door. I need plastic. Oh, fuck. Dice Dragon Joanna says, I can't help but think if Johnny had a car IRL, there would also be constant owl noise sounds from them hitting themselves on it. I'm actually not clumsy in real life, I promise. There are definitely some bits that have grown back on this car, and I don't hate it. Look at all this! Yoink! Take it. Take all the things. i got so many flares. I haven't used one yet. We should try that just to see what they're like. I need... I need a new uh, crowbar as well. I just broke it. Okay. Alright. 
Okay. Things. Pry bar. Let's make one. We've got one now. A crude door. Great. I'm sorry, but that was terrifying. That was so scary. All of it. Fix the car. Fix the back. So, those who have played this, is this is this kind of like a series of runs like that? Like a series of, um... Ow! <laughs> Damn it! Is it like a series of trips into the zone like that? Because I can get on board with it. I just need to know what I'm letting myself in for. Let's try. Let's have one of these. Wee! Ah, oh, where's a T-Rex? Yes, all maps are procedurally generated. Okay, thank you, Otter Time. This door's locked. What if we? Nope. Okay, good to know though. Here's our friend, Friendly Dumpster. Wee! Thanks, Friendly Dumpster. Today, Friendly Dumpster has given you copper wire. Okay, Lisa Hunt says, yes, stressful trip, then calm car fixing time. Okay, I love that. Also, yes, Chris Rakowski, I think my engine is running. Thank you very much for letting me know. Because that would have been bad. We would have run out of fuel. Okay, we, we're all... Mm, okay. <sighs> okay. Wowee. Wowee. Break open back room doors <laughs> with an impact hammer. <laughs> no. No, Johnny. No. Oh, we can make repair putty. Well, that's good. I'd like to make some. Because I kind of feel like we need it. Put it back in. Not in the craft map. Put it in there. Oh, don't pretend you haven't been snooping. You know where the back room is. Yes, I do. I'm just... I'm fixing my... Fixing my car. Well, hey! Hello. Assemble an antenna. Great. Well, let's also do this. Chris Butler says, another streamer I watched players thought they had a fuel leak. It turns out they just left the engine running in the carriage. Whoopsie. What do, you, what do we got here? A handbrake! A handbrake! Oh my god. With one swift tug of a lever, you can lock up the car's rear wheels and convert some of your momentum into a skid. You may even impress any anomalies that are watching. Oh my god. And there's putty in here. And there's a hand vac. This advice a swift collection of just about any solid or semi-solid subject. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna. I said we're gonna, we're gonna. Hold on, hold on. You, we're gonna, we're gonna install, we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna. We're gonna, <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're gonna. We're gonna install a handbrake. That's for damn sure. What is happening to me? <laughs> Help! No, don't uh, fucking. Lou Jones says, "What are you gonna do, Johnny?" Well, we're gonna. We're gonna. <laughs> we're gonna. We're gonna install a handbrake. How? How? <laughs> I don't know how. Oh my god. Oh no. Okay, right. I wonder if it's something to do with this. Fabrication station. Scanning antenna. Scantenna. Uh, yes, we've got everything we need for that. Confirm. Great. Okay. Install the antenna on the roof. Installation kit. Dice Dragon Joanna says, A little tip, Johnny, if something looks weird, run over and scan it. Fancy lights, birds, flying saucers, scan it all. Okay, that's a very good point. How do I... 
Okay, wait, hang on a minute. There's still the... There's still the antenna on the roof. Oh, the roof of the building! I thought it meant on the roof of my car. <laughs> nice, which says, I'm sorry, I'm still stuck laughing at. We're gonna. Antenna signals coming through loud and clear. <laughs> Give it a moment to initialize. I. Those moments do crop up. I don't know what it is where I just. My, my brain short circuits. Like the time when I tried to tell a joke that started, <laughs> what does. And I just went, what is. What is. What is. For about 400 years. That was a good one, too. Is that where we install it? Sure. Make sure to empty your trunk before heading back out. You'll need the space. Oh, okay. Thank you. That's a genuinely brilliant tip. But what if I need all these things in the field? What if... Okay, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You can have all that. <sighs> it wasn't the bee joke near Hamilton, no. What was it? Search the dumpster for something to help you unload the truck. What? Whee! Thanks! Transfer trunk! Charge battery, 30%. Tend to your wounds at the first aid station. And we're patched. Everything's in working shape, more or less. I've hooked up the antenna to the route planner. Give it a look after you're done peeping through my garage. <laughs> That's useful. Look at that. Great. Okay. Right. Okay. I just... Oh. What was... Hang on a minute. Um, I don't remember the joke when I got stuck saying... Um, I don't remember the joke uh, when I got stuck saying what does, but I remember the punchline was de Despacito? And I'm not sure why. Thrilling, I know. Right, let's charge the battery. We've tended to our wounds... Repair car. Yes, well, we've made more putty, haven't we? So we may as well. Sorry for those of you who don't like this noise. I quite like it. <sighs> that was so stressful. Cameron Beach says, all right, I'll catch the rest of this on VOD. Have a good one, LSPs and Johnny. Take care, Cameron. Um... I'll catch you soon, I think. <laughs> this game is quite stressful, but I am enjoying this bit. Lee Jones says ASMR, ASM car. Very good. Can you hurt yourself on the way? Yes, you can hurt yourself with the trunk on the way up and the way down. Can you... S okay. I'm sorry, everyone. Give me one minute. Game saved. Resume game. So you can't do it until you die. I was just curious. I just wanted to know. Quick Sausic Raven says, lol, someone else I watched stream this tested the same thing. Damn it. I was really hoping I would be the first. Okay. All right. Anyway, what were we doing? Panels, doors, and bumpers installed. Were we missing a bumper? Rear bumper. Rear bumper. Well, look, I've put everything in the bloody... Anyway, Johnny, just chill. 
Uh, oh no, we got it, we got it, we got it. Okay. Where is it? Oh, it's there. Install rear bumper. Okay, there we go, we got a crude bumper. Uh, the battery needs a little bit more juice. Headlights in good condition, one of two. Oh dear, we need to make a... Ah! We need to make a headlight? Can we make them? Crude headlight. We need more plastic. I'm enjoying this bit very much. Oh no. Is there anything else we can... Aha! Plastic! Let's go make another headlight. This is lovely. Okay, I can see why people are getting so into this game. Like, I was enjoying it before, but I was like, okay, uh, this is intense, but good, but good, but now I know there's a gameplay loop. Mm. Looks like the car's winking now. Anyway, um, what else we got to do? Pack survival tools, scrapper, repair putty, yes, fuel can, yes, road flares, yes, battery jumper. Do we have one of those? Anyway, I don't think we do. Let's make one. Battery jumper. We need electronics. Where, from whence can we scrounge some electronics? The battery is still ticking down. I'll, I'll recharge the battery later, but is there any way we can sort of turn all this stuff off? The headlights. That probably will help, won't it? Our abilities. Um, okay. Okay. Stephen Hoy says, I've just realised the scrapper hitting the metal panels makes the source, en source, source engine collision sound. Well, that's probably not the same noise because I've destroyed all the panels, haven't I? Interesting. Okay. Uh, electronics. Electronics. What is this? Offy's Numa Tube. Oops. Fabrication station. Matter deconstructor. Cool. Still need electronics. <sighs> I'm not procrastinating because the. A, a Game Boy! I'm not procrastinating because that was very stressful. I am uh, just working up to being very brave. There's a big difference. Where am I going to get some electronics from? This is only the recommended driver's checklist, so we could just ignore it. But I kind of... Yeah, you got me bang you got me bang to rights there. Nice witch. I'm not procrastinating. a game boy. Car and radio computer and radio next to abandoned car. Thank you, Watertone. Uh hang on, I'm gonna go find the, the the Game Boy again. Where was it? Was it back here? Oh, can't play it. Shh. Okay. Un ordenador. There we go. Plastic, glass shards, plastic, electronics. Great. Now we may make a battery jumper. Battery jumper. Is Johnny quiet or is my TV being weird? I was probably leaning away a bit. Kira Cox says, ah yes, Spanish. I like or ordenador as a as a um as a word. It's a, it's a good word, I like it. Battery jumper. Ramshackle but effective. Carefully connect this single use device to any failing automobile battery and stand clear. Alright, we'll sling that in the boot. I remember 
everyone in my Spanish class when I first started learning Spanish at school being delighted that the Spanish word for pencil sharpener is un sacapuntas. Everyone was just going nuts, just going un sacapuntas. Try it. Go on. Say un sacapuntas. It's fun. Now, what we got here? Not of one abilities equipped. So we could use space to handbrake. Yes. Yes, space is now handbrake. Sick. PJ Buck has done a super chat saying, headed back to the start. BNB do cars. Vroom. Lovely. Really enjoyed that. Find your way to tan. Okay. So we can't go that way. Well, I guess we'll go north. Manishan Ann says, oh no, the tyres. Oh no, the tyres. You're quite right. Yes. Matthew K is on a super chat saying, swinging through late after the start. Thanks for playing this. I've been on the fence, so it's nice to get a look at it from youth. Have fun. Thank you very much, Matthew. I am glad to be of assistance. Uh, spare tyre. Let's just make a spare tyre. And then... Don't you go anywhere. Remove this one. Pick this one up. Install this one. Mulch this one. I know I'm scrapping a crafting item, but then I can get some rubber from it and some scrap metal. I don't know if that was wise, but it's what I've done. Okay, and then we've got a tire back there that's not, like, thrilled to be alive. We'd need a mechanics kit to fix that, I think. Uh, uh, nah, it's fine. It's probably fine. It's probably fine. Unless it isn't. But we'll soon find out. Let's go donuts. Check your mirrors. Safety first. That's probably also fine. That's fine. It's all fine. Yep. Fine, fine, driving well. Driving well, good at driving. Good at driving, actually. Yep. Round into the verses, check your mirrors, straight into a tree. Well, if I'm gonna hit a tree, I wanna be watching. I'm gonna run my car into a tree and not look. Un sacapuntas. Oh. Ah, I reckon I can fit through there. Yep. Perfect. Well, no, because we want to be up there. But we're down here. Fuck it. Let's just carry on on this road. Is this a road even? Sort of a dried up riverbed. It's starting to feel like Terminator 2 in here. Okay. Elna Smith says, how are we doing everybody? Doing alright, thank you. Just uh, driving along in my automobile. This computer beside me behind the wheel. No, I'm behind the wheel. Glad we got that sorted. Driving along my automobile. Oh dear. I'm... 
Well, now I'm just... I don't... Okay. Okay. Where do you want me to fucking go? <laughs> I suppose left and then onto the road, isn't it? I'm just a bit... Right, let's just... I haven't... Okay. Okay. I just... I didn't sleep very well last night. I haven't had much sleep. And I can't drive in real life. And my sense of direction in video games specifically is dire. So am I waypointing just that thing over there? Yes. Remember... Ah, remember the big map in the garage. For God's sake. Right. Oh. Oh. That... Use the big map, open the garage door. Right. That 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 brake worked pretty well though, didn't it? Hey? Oh. Hey? Oh, we stopped something lovely there. Okay. Well, we would have wasted some some fuel doing that. So, yeah, look, sure enough. Okay, let's pretend that didn't happen. Ready to make some terrification a one and done thing? Yes. I'm sending you to visit Colossal Cappy. If that old anomaly doesn't induce electromagnetic resonance in your car, then we're free from Tobias's fever dreams and we can get you out of here. With that antenna fixed, you can now detect stabilized road junctions in the outer zone. You've got a stable route heading straight to Cappy's front door, but the energy readings are off the roof. I advise you not to take the zone lightly. You better gear up or you may not survive the trip. Which would make my life easier, so... Your call. Okay. Driving along in my automobile. Amy Dentata says, I just finished the story and had no idea you can zoom the map, lol. <laughs> oh, dear. How long did it take you, if I may ask, Amy? I'm trying to get a sort of feel for the length of this game. The baby was in the building, do you? Bring him in the radio. No particular building. No, 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 no. Stop it. Stop it. I have to go see friends after this. As in, some people I know, not the sitcom that hasn't aged particularly well. It's in park, Johnny. Amy Dentata says, I don't know off the top of my head, got a check, it ended sooner than I was expecting. Understood. Traveling. Okay. Okay. Back roads, remote, damp forest, outer zone. Now. Re reach, reach Sierra. Now let's now hold up a minute there, everybody, because we could just turn right and whoop, just piss off. But oh, these little things look interesting. Let's have a peek. Oh, it's raining. It's raining. Bah, bah, bah. Fuck off. I'm s it, Yeah, I'm sorry. I would simply lie down and... and just let, let the anomaly take me, really. Eleanor Smith has done a super chat saying, my mum used to sing the song to me while she drove us to school. It took me a long time to realise baby meant partner rather than kid. Oh, that's very sweet, though. Mo Benton says, well, that's Pacific Northwest for you. Rain everywhere. I, I have been very lucky in my adventures to the, to 
in the Pacific Northwest. Um, it's rained very rarely. I've been to Seattle like three times now. It's been maybe three weeks there total in my life. Ad admittedly, like all in the month of August. But uh, yeah, I mean, I like rain. I like it a lot. Now we could go munch another one of those things. Should we go take that? Oh wait, that one's not. That one's not nicely. Oh, the cars. Yeah, okay. Glittering boulder. Transmission fragment. Hey, this is Anna. I'm totally going so fast right now. Oh no, oh no, it's happened again. Okay. Okay. The car! Come back, the car! Oh shit. Tobias mentioned that the remnants bind themselves to people, like the cars done with you, and how that led to obsession. These obsessions always started innocently. A, a, a sudden interest in model train sets or collecting old road signs. The objects themselves would exhibit anomalous properties, but what didn't in the zone, right? That in itself wasn't cause for alarm. But these fixations would only grow worse until its victims could think of nothing else but the remnant. And they always ended with spiraling into madness and disappearing in a mad chase after something. Sorry, driver, it doesn't sound fun, but... I don't know what you're up against. Could the remnants' victims still be out there somewhere? Hey, I you mean, know. We never heard from them again, yeah. but it doesn't mean they all died. We've right? gone off the road. If the madness didn't kill them, then the zone did. <laughs> anyway, it's been 20 years since the last remnant sighting. We thought they were long gone. Until you found the car. Well, that didn't happen. That, that didn't happen? Yes it, yes, it did. Well, that happened. I didn't expect that to happen. Words are very difficult to say with my human mouth. It's confusing and unsettling, and I'm bad at car. <laughs> but I like it. I wonder if you're already feeling the remnants effects, driver. Have you been fixating on the car? Maybe? Yes. If only we knew where remnants came from. Then we'd have a place to start on how to help you. This is no typical anomaly. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The anomalies we know, they're creepy, crawly, and weird. Like v visible manifestations. The remnants were the only ones that wormed its way into your brain. There's something much, much more. Sizzling mist. Sizzling mist. Concentrated plasma particles. All right. Anonymous says, do you have a non-human mouth in addition to your human one? No comment. I feel like I should be stopping off at more places, but also scared, you know? There's a, there's a house here, we could go in that. Fuck it, let's 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 go in. Take the things. A pick pick. Take the things. Ooh. We can smash our way in there. Take the things. <laughs> Become afraid. Take the things. Try the impact hammer. Now run away. Return to car. Okay. Okay. Nice which says, can everyone say well done, Sarah, for me actually making tea instead of bailing and just ordering takeout? Hell yeah! Well done, the nice witch. Um I know I I lose that fight more often than I care to admit. So good on you for actually making it. 
What you having? Oh, that's... Okay. Yeah, that worked. That's fine. One of the headlights is badly done, badly, uh, badly done in, but that's okay. Do we need more plasma? I kind of feel like we always need more plasma, right? It just feels like it's a good idea to always get plasma when there's plasma to be had. <gasps> nice, which says thank you, mates. I really had to fight with m myself with it tonight. I'm making a lasagna, yeah, 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 yeah. Mate, that's that's no small effort. Well done. Um, top tip from me: if you make a lasagna, yeah, 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 take it for a little walk. Just, just take it for a little walk. Just, just go outside. Just go outside. Oh, sizzling mist again, is it? Just, you know, just pick up your lasagna, walk around, have a little walk outside. I did it last week. It's tremendous. Can we drive through the sizzling mist? We're going to. Should we drive through the sizzling mist? No, that was a very bad idea. I suppose sizzling sounds great, like, on a menu. What the fuck is fucking fuck? No! Go away! Oh my god, what is it? Please get off. What the fuck is that? Stephen Hoy says, I forgot about seeing that. Why did you take a lasagna for a walk, Johnny? Okay, so I was staying somewhere with some friends. And one of us is allergic to aubergine. And we were staying in two different lodges in this holiday place. We are in Centre Park. We were staying in two different places. And the kitchens are quite small. So, um, two of my friends were making aubergine parmigiana for everyone for dinner. Uh, but given that one of us can't eat aubergine, um, I was like, oh, I'll make I'll make a veggie lasagna as well. So, you know, we'll have plenty of food. And it means that, you know, nobody's eating aubergine unless they want to. So I'm in one lodge on one side of Centre Palace. And everyone else is in the other lodge. Well, not everyone else. Most of the other people are in the lodge on the other side of Centre Palace. And um, uh, I make a lasagna. I assemble it. And that's when I realised that I've done a very good job of making plenty of lasagna because it's full to the brim. I'm talking like surface tension was the only thing stopping it from just bleh, slopping out everywhere. Uh, so what I had to do was wait five minutes for it to cool down a tiny bit and congeal ever so slightly. And then I had to pick it up like this and I had to walk for about 15 minutes across a holiday park in the dark with a lasagna. So there we go. Yeah. Uh, Brett C is on a super chat saying, does Garfield's obsession make him lasagna nyan nyan cat? Lasagna nyan. Lasagna. Oh, lasagna cat. Like nyan cat, but lasagna nyan cat. Lasagna cat. <sighs> yes. I'm going to say yes, Brett. Thank you very much for the comment. The question that nearly destroyed my brain. Stephen Hoy says, oh, a Centre Park's lasagna walk. Say no more, I understand now. It was great. Oh, I'll show you, I'll show you a photo. Show you a lovely photo. Driving along my automobile. My baby's on my man, who are you? Uh, at one point, we, um, they wanted to check the map, so uh, I got a little break. I got to put my lasagna down on an exit sign. And then I took a selfie with my lasagna. Just, if you're making a lasagna, take it for a little walk. Why not? Why not, you know? Okay. Hang on. Did I refocus the camera? I did not. Kira Cox says, why do I suddenly feel ill? I don't know. You say my lasagna looks bad? My lasagna is very good, actually. Why car not go? Car is in drive. 
Oh, car is off. That's why. Because getting out of car. Oh, lots of stuff in here. We'll have it. Right. Did we... Oh, that's some more plasma over there. Let's get that. Kira Cox says, no, I meant that literally, Johnny. Oh, okay. I mean, it's fine if you think my lasagna looks like trash. That's okay. I understand. Plasma. Give me all your plasma. Ooh, there's a stable fellow. We like those. Even though it angers something. Ow, that hurt. Oh, that really hurt. Ow. Fuck. Let's take it. Well, you could say I'm not learning from any of my mistakes. Oh, shit. The car's actually quite far away. And there's something over there. Oh, it's the car under attack. Stop attacking my car! Stop it! Go away! Go away! Piss off! Huh. You, I distracted it with a light source. Are they coming back? Where's the thing? I want to feed the thing to my car. Yeah, we'll be running away now. Well, that went surprisingly well. It's in drive. It's in drive. I'm not good at the at, at the, the the car bit. You know? Sort of uh, understanding what I need to be doing or doing it or just the basic competencies of drive car. I struggle with all of those parts of, of Pacific Drive. Shred those little bad guys in future says Oscar Time. Of course, I have a shredder. I'm just so scared. <laughs> Cypher the Fallen. Oh, sorry, Cinder the Fallen says, Scrap the bunnies! Yeah, I should have done. Oh. Well, I don't like the look of this. At all. But. I'm curious. Oops. I'm curious as to what's. That's more sizzling mist. Where's the thing I need to find? Let's drive around this thing. And also... Oh, it's actually a ways off, isn't it? Okay, we're going to very carefully go about this in a silly way. Hmm? Hmm? Not bad! And another thing that we can steal. Harvest. Steal. Appropriate. Maybe it's hope. Maybe it's the thought of you. 
If I could just see you smile, we could at least recognize the beauty of this place together. I've been completely in awe and well since I've been here and for so long. Uh Bunnies. Okay, dick nuts. Old school steering wheel. That was scary. Drive. But we can't go this way now, apparently. Gateway too close. That's a long way back. Oh, we could just go there. And now we fucking hoon it. I'm starting to get a feel for this. Avoid the mist. And the tourists. Oh shit. Sorry tourist. Come on little car. I love you so much buddy. Oh no I told the car I love it. Isn't that meant to happen in this game? What's that? Floating rocks? Okay. I feel very cheeky. Alex Taylor says, anyone expect something way more chill from a game called Pacific Drive? Oh! Fuck. Oh, just go! Uh, yeah, kinda. I'm getting a lot of annihilation vibes from this, obviously. Oh no. Please walk car. I'm getting a lot of annihilation vibes from this! No, leave my fucking car alone! But I'm also... But I'm also... Where's it gone? Car, car, hello car. I love you car. Car! Come back! Oh, there you are car. Okay, you little bunny bastards. Get off the car. Um, I'm also getting some Sir You Are Being Hunted vibes from it, I'll be honest. Okay. Uh, is it in... May we drive? I think I fucked it. Okay, now we're fine. Ish. Oh, car, I'm sorry. Oh, God, car! I turn right, Johnny. Hang in. Just go. This is fucking terrifying. It's gonna catch me. It's caught me. Dead. Huh? The back of the garage? How could that be? Oh, a 
car got you back somehow. Very, very interesting. I'll have to observe this further. Are you making use of my fabrication station to fix up that junker? You should while I'm still in the mood to allow it. And there's the test track behind the garage, if you need to take anything for a spin. I'm really bad at car. <laughs> Fucking hell. That was terrifying and great all at the same time. Great and terrifying and terrifying and great. That was intense. QWERTY Press has done a super chat saying, this doesn't appear to be zen in the art of station wagon maintenance. No, it doesn't. Um, Quixotic Raven says, are you okay, Johnny? I am fine. This game is absolutely exhilarating and terrifying and brilliant, and I want to stream more of it, but I think I'm going to knock it on the head tonight. Um, because that was a lot. That was a lot. This game is... This game is mystifying and beguiling and wonderful, and I really, really like it. Anonymous says, intense. No, it was in car. Boo, Anonymous. Um, yeah, I'm going to call the stream there today. I'm sorry, folks, uh, to be ending ever so slightly early, but um, woo, that's taken it out of me. And also, that is not a game to play when you're very, very tired. Um, so there we go. Uh, what what else have we got coming up uh, this week? Uh, new episodes of Preston and Chiodini on Saturday. Um, if you're in London tomorrow and you fancy coming to High Hill Tap Room in uh, London's Walthamstow, I'll be running an unfeasibly large game of Dungeons and Dragons. Um, at the minute, it looks like we have 30 players, uh, but we could always use more. <sighs> And then on Friday, if anyone's going to Aircon, I'll be doing a show there on Friday. We're doing like a D&D &D themed uh, panel quiz show, which plans to be very, 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 very silly. <coughs> so, and then Saturday, new episodes of Preston Chiodini. So plenty of stuff to come from me for the rest of this week. Um, I have a Patreon. There's a link in, oh no, in the description of this stream. There's also, uh, it's been put into chat. Um, some guy sitting down and on a super chat saying, will you please do more of this game? Yeah, let's play. We'll stream this again. Don't you worry. Um, although I can't stream next week. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go into that uh, some other time. Nothing's wrong. I'm just not going to be in London. Um, so, yes, lots of things from me this week. I'll see you Saturday. Have a lovely rest of your, your day, everyone. Nice witch. Enjoy your lasagna. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and I'll catch you soon. Thanks again. Goodness me. All right. Bye. <laughs>